my channel. It is Monday, January 23rd. I'm on my way to the Toronto airport so I can fly out to Tampa and I'm going to start my Tampa vlog right now. Miranda, when the first place we go to is a grocery store. <laughs> Stop. Candles. <laughs> you know, I like one for the kitchen. Like the lemon scent. Of the macro Turkey story. baking, fruit, some candles, lots of candles, and I'll help you with the beans. <laughs> <laughs> and then I found myself some Awami. So I need energy drinks since I have an energy drink addiction. Miranda and I basically just relaxed. We did a hair mask, watched some TV, and then basically went to sleep and woke up very late this morning. So it is technically morning, but it's actually 12 and she's got to do some walking. So she's going to go show me her gym in her apartment and also we're going to get some walking in. Um, whenever I'm with Miranda, I do cardio, which is great because I don't normally do it on my own. Well, I do it with CrossFit, but not like steps or anything like that. So it's also very warm and sunny here, and I'm very excited. Imagine just waking up here every day. <laughs> <laughs> Can't relate. <laughs> this is a nice gym. You say all the right things when I'm hurting. You always pick me up when I am down. We have seen so many Frenchies. Since I've been here, we've already seen yeah. three. Yeah. And the one that we just saw looked like little Otis, so I'm very happy. And it's also beautiful here, so it's a really <laughs> nice day. I don't want to leave, ever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm moving in. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so today is leg day. I got myself a bunch of Alani, so I've been sipping on this energy drink. We are training at M140 today um, here in Tampa. I've actually been to this gym like way back in 2017, so it's so weird to come to a place where you've been in the past, but like it's been so much time since I've been here. Um, I remember it too, which is weird. I kind of remembered pulling in. I was like, oh, this looks familiar. But yeah, we're gonna head a leg day. This here? Yeah. Oh, this is Hello. Park. First up, we're doing glute bridge on the swim machine, six by six. You say all the right things when I'm hurting. You always pick me up when I am down. It's like you have a spark that leaves me burning. Yeah, you just have your ways to get me high. You make all my dreams come true. Right. When I'm around you, we could break up and then make up. I always come back to you. You move me in a way never thought anyone could. You get me high, you're my drug when I am feeling blue. Yeah, it's all you.
meals and I decided to order a bunch of food while I'm here. So, so what did I order? Teriyaki chicken. I got some chicken and sweet potatoes. More chicken and sweet potatoes. More teriyaki chicken. <laughs> Where's the other one? I got chicken fried rice too. Oh, again, teriyaki. Teriyaki, as you can tell, I like that one. Steak stir fry. Chicken fried rice. We have somehow fit all of the meals in here. Miranda has a bunch of meals and then I added mine. Um, and she does have a discount code with Mega Fit Meals. So if you message her, she can give you the information to that. And then you can save 10%. I used her code and I saved $17. And I also made her commission. <laughs> this is the chicken fried rice. It looks good. I wonder what the sauce tastes like. Oh, it's hot. Ow. <laughs> I just burned my finger on the sauce, but I also touched the dry ice and burned my hand on that as well. <laughs> I didn't realize it was dry ice. I thought it was just like a freezer pack. So we also went to M140 today um, and we did a leg workout, which you will see because I filmed like glimpse of it. The audio was very loud in there and I did not bring my um, wireless Rode mics, which I'm regretting now because that would have been a really good opportunity to have used them. But that being said, I will put the workout in. You'll be able to see it at this point. Hopefully you've already watched it or skimmed over or whatnot. But yeah, it was a good workout, um, uh, glute hamstring focus as you'll see. And then um, the other thing I was just reflecting on was like the fact that I have not been there since 2017. The last time I was there was for the Tampa Pro. Um, obviously they're supporting uh, my ex. And it was just cool to kind of reflect on the fact that I'm back here now as like a completely different person in, in so many ways. Um, also it's, I guess a very like empowering feeling the fact that like I feel like I'm finally coming into who I am as an individual. I feel like I have a lot more confidence and I'm becoming and being my own person. So it was a really cool experience to go there and just be my own person. And just, I don't know how to explain it really, but I just feel really proud of the work I put in and like the stuff I've overcome in the last few years. I don't know if a lot of people would have been able to handle it the way I did. And for that, I feel grateful and also proud of myself. And I don't usually acknowledge those things, but um, yeah, it was like definitely an empowering moment, um, which I didn't think it would be, but I also feel like it was, again, a step in like a direction of like my healing journey and just overcoming different things that I maybe didn't even necessarily think I needed to, but yeah, anyways, enough about that. I'm gonna get some editing done and I'm gonna look at these Disney Day packs. Hi, Odie Bear. Otis, who is it? Is it Mama? Otis. Where's, where's the other little one? Hi, Otis. Hi, hi, sweet boy. You missing hey. Mommy? You missing Mommy? Hey. <gasps> Who's the cute little patootie? Oh, where's my other little baby? Say hello. Hi, Atlas. Sit. Have you been a good boy too? So it is time to make some breakfast. I'm gonna do some eggs, some turkey bacon, some toast with peanut butter and banana because that is one of my favorite combinations. Um, so let me get this started. And today it is still pretty sunny, a little overcast, um, but we are gonna have a more of a chill day because Miranda does get a rest day today, so that's awesome. Breakfast is done. This looks so tasty and I'm ready to dig in. So I found Miranda. Oh my God, I just called you Miranda. <laughs> I found Miranda. Mar oh my God. <clears throat> I found Miranda's <laughs> um, best mirror and lighting in her apartment. Well, I think, I think this is it. She said it was and I'm confirming. 
So I now have my bikini on because I'm just very eager to get outside even though it's really not that warm today. But I refuse to not wear this bikini while I'm here in Florida, so. Miranda's eating while I'm just oh. posing in the mirror. I'm super brown right now. You are very golden. I know, my face, like I can't even believe that my face is this brown. I like woke up this morning and I was like, oh, this is, this is how I'm gonna look. For this. It doesn't look bad in this um, camera actually. You look golden-y. <clears throat> it's not bad. My I'm tan. Like 16 shades darker than my <laughs> So I've made a switch. I am now wearing the green bikini, which is Cindy's second favorite. So unfortunately, I'm not wearing your first favorite anymore, but I am wearing your second. So we're still good to go. And Miranda's laughing at me while she eats egg whites like a weirdo. Oh, oh. You just, you gotta do it. I'm sorry. Every single time you do it, I like want to throw up. Uh -huh. Me too. Does anyone else eat egg whites like that? They just drink them? No. They're just like, I need the protein. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this way. <laughs> <laughs> or is it just Miranda? Yeah, it's just me. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> when people are like, so how do you look like Miranda? Well, <laughs> this is the secret. This is a secret. It's not a secret, honestly. You just gotta do it, you know? You just gotta live the life of structure and discipline uh, and hard good. work and intensity. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, you, I'm you will do it. I'm a pretend bodybuilder, so. No, you do everything a bodybuilder does. You just don't compete. <laughs> Yet. True. Yet. True. One day. True. One day we'll see you on stage. Oh, You'll true. be even more tan than you are now. That's a scary thought to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm about to film a Q&A for Miranda's YouTube channel. So we're just kind of reviewing the questions we're going to answer. Reviewing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to get a little tipsy for it. So <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried these. We don't have them in Canada. Oh, really? Yeah, you yeah, don't really drink. Canada's what? I don't drink. You don't drink either? No. Ever? Okay, yeah, well, I, I mean, I don't really either, but this is good. It kind of tastes... Like what is it, a seltzer? I guess it's just a seltzer. Is, oh, is that a, the vodka one? High noon. Oh, no, those are good. Are these new? No, but those are big in Michigan. Do we have these in Canada? I don't think so. Maybe we do. Can somebody let me know? Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Such good service. <laughs> <laughs> Miranda, the queen of ring lights. <laughs> she just had a new one come in the mail yesterday. It's over there in the box that I have to open again. <laughs> my other box that I have to open again. <laughs> I'm just lazy. I just don't care at all. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, really. We've purchased our tickets. Yay. Which means we are going to Disneyland tomorrow. We're going to one park. We have one day, so we're only doing one park because that's all we'll have time for. We've already inquired about bringing food in because Miranda needs to bring her meals in, and we're good on that. Hashtag um, goals. Has to, hashtag goals, yes. And now I'm trying to figure out this Genie Plus app, Pass app, which basically allows you to get the fast track and coordinate your day with an itinerary. But I am struggling a lot. And I'm wondering if it's just me or if I'm just, like, if this is a common thing that people struggle with or if I'm just, I have issues. No, just, I it's probably that. It's yeah. probably that part. It's probably that <laughs> I have issues. So we figured out what we need to do. We don't actually have our tickets yet. We have our confirmation. Once we get to Disneyland, we will get our tickets and then we can use the Genie app to get that situated. So... Unfortunately, I think this has taken me a lot longer to figure out than most people, but we are on the right track. <laughs> <laughs> We have arrived at Disney World. I'm so excited. Um, I was just thinking when we were coming here the last time I was here when I was when I was like 11 years old and at the time the Don't You Wish Your Girlfriend song was um, really popular and they played it on like the radio station every three minutes. We rented convertibles and my whole family would just be like on the highway screaming that song. Miranda is getting her life together. 
because she's packed for a week <laughs> for today. <laughs> One day packed for a week. <laughs> I like how it's not even just like a normal toothbrush you brought your car. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm surprised she doesn't have just like a, a, a travel a life. She does. No, she I, actually I, does. Her I mom it out. I threw it out. Oh, it was she, gross. Okay, okay. Yeah. We had a travel one. I dropped it on the plane, yeah. and I was never gonna pick it up again. So. That's like right on my face. Wait a minute, everybody. <laughs> oh, cute. Yeah, those are cute. Wow. Look at this one, Miranda. Look at this jogger set. Oh, that's cute. This is cute. Is this kid sizes again? Probably. Nice. Probably Everything here is kid sizes. We're just not a kid. Oh look, the sleeves say like Walt Disney across the back. ready right now because we are about to go to the gym I'm gonna do some legs I'm excited because these gyms have a lot of fun equipment and I haven't really been using any of this equipment lately just because I've been doing more CrossFit training or the gym I'm at doesn't have like a lot of actual equipment it's mainly just dumbbells so that's kind of what I've been using but um, we had a really 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 fun day yesterday um, at Disney World I would say my two favorite rides were the Tower of Terror <laughs> I felt like I didn't know if we were going up or down, but I just was like holding on to Miranda's leg like so hard because I was, I didn't know what direction we were going and Lucas was screaming like a little baby and it was just, I was dying laughing. And then the second uh, ride that I really liked was roll and roll, uh, Rock and Roller Coaster. So I remember going on that ride when I was like 11, when the last time we went to Disney World. And I remember like when you get sent like right away, like the shoot through, and I remember it being really fast, but I don't remember like any of the flips and we didn't really research any of the rides. So I had no recollection that we were gonna be going upside down or anything. All of a sudden we go and we start flipping and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I was holding so tight onto my backpack cause I didn't remember that happened. And thankfully Miranda was holding onto her water bottle, would have definitely just flipped, but um, yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was cool to go as an adult um, and like just experience it differently than like when you're young and rides hit so different when you're older. I always remember like my parents being like, um, like being like, well, yeah, when we were at your age, we loved to go on rides. They were so fun. And now, as I, and then they got older and they're like, we can't handle them the same way. And now that I'm an adult, I fully 
I fully understand why they cannot handle them the same way or like why they couldn't. Um, it just, you feel different when you're on rides. I feel like it hits you all much harder. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. So I'm gonna continue to get ready here for the gym. Just doing some of my mascara. All right, mascara is on. This is the one I use. I feel like this is a question I always get. I'm just gonna hold this until it focuses. It is by L'Oreal and it's like anywhere from 15 to $20, but I, it doesn't last a whole lot, lot, like a whole long time, but I feel like it does a really good job. If you can see. And it's cheap, so it's good. Hi, Daisy. Meow. Meow. <laughs> oh. You say hi. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. Such a good girl. All right, I'm recording this to remind myself when I pack for Vegas in a few weeks that I really only need comfy clothes. Sweatpants, baggy shirts, and gym clothes. Maybe one outfit for going out, but that's it. I do not need to overpack, so this is me holding myself accountable, <laughs> so I do not overpack because I have so much uh, clothing in there that I haven't even touched and it's just embarrassing at this point. <laughs> what? Miley Cyrus' ex-husband is dating wow. her ex-backup dancer. Shady shit. I find out everything through TikTok. I know, I feel like you're like a little queen on that. <laughs> <laughs> you're a queen. I find out everything. Find it all out. All right, I'm going to eat some food. See my meal. DM me for Miranda's discount code. <laughs> and uh, last night we were on the hunt to watch Crossroads, which is a movie from like 2000 where Britney Spears started in it. And I think we searched like 12 app, like streaming or like TV apps on her TV and none of them had it. There was one that had it and it was unavailable. Yeah. So we're sad, but we're going to keep searching and maybe we can watch it tonight or even tomorrow night before I leave. Otherwise... There's gotta be some scam website I can find. I know. I just, I'm not good. Are you good with that stuff? No. I'm not good with like I'm not. pirating <laughs> things. <laughs> I'm not either. Like, I get stressed out and then it just doesn't happen. So, I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try. I'll figure it out. <laughs> it is officially my last full day here in Tampa. Very sad. But thankfully, today ended up being a beautiful day. So, we are gonna go and sit out by the pool, which I'm very excited about. It's actually 28 degrees here. Um, Celsius, which I believe is like 82 degrees Fahrenheit. I could be wrong. So it's warm. I've got my bikini on and we are gonna go and be by the pool. Night swim, night swim. And this little skirt thing, I don't even remember where I got it from. It's pretty old. I'm a little nervous to how my skin is gonna be in this weather. I feel like I'm gonna be leaving to go back to Canada really, really burnt. But thankfully, Miranda is like the queen of skincare and she has SPF 110. So I'm gonna put that on my face and hopefully that will prevent me from burning.
Watch me still burn. <laughs> I can mimic you, but I just don't know how much this is actually going to cover. Because <laughs> when I when I first got this bathing suit, I didn't have my boobs. Oh, it yeah. might but cover the nipples. Yeah, but then we can be twins. We'll be hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this takes a while to rub in, eh? You don't need a lot with that because it's like it's thick. Oh, I think I put a little too much in. Hey, okay, at least you won't burn. You know? Oh, Miranda. What? I probably still will. <laughs> I need to put my ears. My ears always burn. That's like an area I forget, but because my ears stick out, <laughs> they always seem to burn. And my scalp, but I don't really feel like putting a little sunscreen on my scalp right now. All right. I think my face is protected from the sun. my last sunset here. Daisy, you gonna miss me? You gonna miss me, cutie? Wow. Am I crazy? The video doesn't even do justice. This is a moment where I need to actually look at it and not through the camera lens. <laughs> right? <laughs> Be present. So nice. <sighs> Beautiful. It's almost where I look here. It's a good look for you. Yeah. I know. <laughs> you should always come out here and be like, yeah, I live here now. I look out like I put my cover. <laughs> <laughs> I would, don't worry, I would check. <laughs> what kind of face mask is that? Um, we want to know the secret to your perfect skin. It's not. Uh, it's a uh, it's strawberry, like marmalade something. I don't know. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. How do those gold things stay on you? Mine like slide. Yeah, you gotta keep putting them up. Oh, so they're kind of like boobs. You gotta just keep pushing. <laughs> <laughs> no matter where I go, I always have popcorn. <laughs> it's kind of like your frother. Uh huh. Popcorn <laughs> is my thro frother. Is it our last night together? What are you gonna do? Who are you going to sleep on? You. <laughs> You're going to be so sad. My little cuddle buddy. Daisy. Daisy. Are you my little cuddle buddy? Yeah, you are. <laughs> 10.07 in the morning and my flight is at 1.30, so we are going to leave here in about 30 minutes to head to the airport. My um, trip and time in Tampa has come to an end, sadly. But I have had an incredible week here. Um, I feel like I've learned a lot about myself. Um, Miranda has taught me a lot. And I just feel super grateful for this friendship. Um, I feel like Miranda inspires me to be a better person and to really believe in myself and to go after you know things in life um, that you may not necessarily think you're worthy for, but you are. And I just feel like I'm finally in a place in my life where I have a group of really incredible friends who love and support me for who I am, who see me for who I am, and I don't need to be someone I'm not with them. And I feel like I've always felt like I haven't really fit in or you know, who I am as a person wasn't good enough to be friends with certain people. And it's a very freeing experience to finally feel like I have a group of people who I don't feel that with. I feel like I can just be myself and they like me for who I am. And I think that has taken time for me to learn. Um, I had to go through different experiences and different friendships to find that. But I just feel very, very blessed that I am now in a position where I have friends like the ones I do. And um, I'm just really grateful that Miranda and my paths have crossed. And I do consider her one of my best friends now. And I just feel really lucky that um, I get to be her friend. She gets to be mine. And uh, we have such a great relationship. And I'm just 
this has been a really, really great week and I'm excited to travel again to see her. I hope she comes my way next time. It's not as exciting in Canada, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but I'm excited to see her more. I wish we lived closer so we could hang out more often. But I think that because we live far away and we only see each other so every so often, um, we really do value and like enjoy that time we have together. So I'm going to get my last little things packed up here. I'm basically packed up. So I don't know what happened, but I seem to be leaving with more stuff than it came, which doesn't make sense because I've actually not bought anything um, except, except my little Mickey Mouse outfit. So I think it's just because I have put all my laundry in this bag and it's just not sitting very well. So I'm gonna get this packed up and have some breakfast and then we're gonna head to the airport and I get to go see my boys, which I'm really excited about. So I am excited to get home, see everyone. I miss my family, but it's been a great, Great, great trip. It is cold and I am not happy about that, but I have been craving a burger and fries all week. I've been eating healthy all week, so that's great. But I'm now gonna go to Five Guys and indulge because I am really wanting some of their french fries and their burger and everything, so yeah. And that is a wrap for my Tampa travel vlog. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you felt like you were a part of the trip with me. I'm excited to vlog for Vegas, which is in a week. Um, but until then, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.